All right, guys, so today's video, short video, is gonna be how to find an angle on a slope floor. So this is one of our slope floor props here at the training center. There's some rubble pile and stuff that we train structural collapse in. Um, but today we're just gonna strictly talk about how to find angles, because I know a bunch of you guys uh, use you know scab wood and all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna show you how to use a speed square with a plumb bob, and I'm gonna show you how to use a tape measure and a calculator. So you have calculators in your phones, whatever um to find the angle so first one we'll do is a speed square and a plumb bob now the plumb bob can be any um basically rock or string like the string that i'm going to use is got off of a chalk line all right so the first thing is we're going to look at our floor all right so this is going to be an example of our slope floor i'm going to take my speed square all right and as you can see i have the pivot going up to the high side and then i have the chalk line with a golf ball attached to it but you can use a rock or anything else and it has to be right on that pivot point so as you can see as, as I change my angle the string is going to change on the speed square now you don't have to drill a hole and, and uh, put a knot in it like I did you can actually just pin it with your thumb um, but I did that just for ease of the, of the video so here we go so here's my floor I'm going to go ahead and hit the pivot to the high side so I'm on the material not on the header the header uh, is for classes we actually uh, pin that so it's going to stay in there but i'm not on the header i'm actually on the material so i'm going to go ahead and put that in there now if you look i'm going to take that string right and i'm going to look exactly where that's going to fall on my speed square so i'm going to keep this from spinning the best i can a little bit windy out here all right and as you can see it's right about there 60 okay we're about 60 degrees so i'm going to take that number and i'm going to subtract that from 90 Okay, and you guys could already guess what it is, but I'll just write that down so you guys can see it. All right, so I have a 60 on my speed square. I'm gonna go ahead and subtract that from 90. All right, it's gonna give me 30. So my degrees is gonna be 30 degrees. Okay, so that's that's the first way, pretty, pretty easy. Okay, the second way I'm gonna show you, um, so this is different, is I'm gonna use a tape measure use it and then I'll, I'll go to the calculator and I'll show you what uh, buttons to push there okay so first thing is I got to find a vertical height okay so I'm gonna pick a height somewhere now remember the height I pick whatever number that is it has to be either this here or this up here I'm not gonna pick anything in the middle okay so what I like to do is I like to pick the bottom part so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure from the ground up and pick a number here now the number you pick should be pretty easy uh, for instance, um, like sometimes I pick four feet or 48 inches because I know anything less than 48 inches, I'm going to use a box crib, all right, up to 30 degrees, right? So if this is under 30 degrees, then I could box crib up to four feet. So I try to find the four foot mark because that's usually where I'm going to start my first post for my slope floor. All right, so what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and film that right now. All right, here we go. So. I have a point here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my tape measure, right? I'm gonna put it straight to the ground. It's an eyeball it the best I can. I'm gonna bring this up to the concrete. Now, oh, I just happened to hit about 48 inches right there, okay? I cheated a little bit before I filmed this. I actually marked it on the concrete, so I'm not that good. But so I put 48 inches there, all right? So I'm 48 inches up. So this would be my uh, opposite. If you math wizards out there know what angles that is or, or using sign. So this is gonna be my opposite, right? So I'm gonna mark 48 inches, so I got that. Okay, I'm also gonna put a little mark there at 48 inches, which I already did, just to make sure I know where that, that mark is. So 48 is my first number, all right? Then I'm gonna take the tape measure and I'm gonna run it down my slope floor, okay? All the way down to the ground. Now the reason why I picked the bottom just a little hit. Now it's not gonna be exact, you may be off like one or two degrees, but it's gonna be close. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this all the way down until it stops, and this is kinda heavy, okay? It's kinda long here. Usually two hands is better than one when you do this, but I'm gonna run this right down to the bottom piece, and I'm gonna run it up my floor here until I hit 48 inches, where my, I made my mark. So you can see my little mark right there. So that is 95, okay? So it's roughly about 95, 94 and a half inches. So we'll call it 95. So 48, and then my second number is 95. Okay, and this is all in inches. All right, that's gonna give me a fraction, obviously. So I take 48, I divide it by 95, 
hit equals and it gives me a decimal point. Now the next step is going to find what my angle is. And by doing that on the scientific calculator, I'm gonna hit second function and I'm gonna hit the inverse sign. There it is. So my angle is 30.3. It's the same angle as I got using the speed squares. Okay, so I hope that guy uh, works for you guys. Like I said, play around with it. Pick any slope you'd want to. Um, it could be a staircase, it could be whatever, and uh, figure out your angles. All right, have a good one. Whatever you may do.